Drop is brought to you by Cardinelli Way Hyundai, underway at Crypto.com Arena. And the Kings wearing their alternate 90s era jerseys. We'll toss the puck in. Velarde hounded by Nemesnikov along the far boards. Adam Lowry's pass intended for Appleton went right through the wickets. Here's Ia following the breakout with Lazat over the line. Shot, save, Hellebuck. No rebound. If things are going well, how do we keep it going? Well, especially with the talk about this point streak going. Ten games in a row. Arvidsson scores! <laughs> Off the base of Victor Arvidsson. Buries it. And it's 1-0 L.A. Removed. And it's kind of a scoop shot more than anything. But look at how perfect it is. One draw, backhand, receive, shoot, all in one motion. I don't think it hit Morrissey there. Kings out of their zone once again. Harvidsson bats the puck to goal. Swatted away by the goalie stick of Hellebuck to the backboards. Kings take over again. Mikey Anderson shot blockered down by Hellebuck to the near boards. And already with the Kings up 1-0, they're on the power play. Kings power play brought to you by BMW. They win the faceoff. Kempe right on. Hellebuck the save. And he hangs on tight. Kempe, stick handling, half wall, surveying, all the way across for Arvidsson. They'll drift to the goal line. Center, Kempe turned away by Hellebuck on Monday against Calgary. And there's no secret here that Kempe and Arvidsson are finding each other. I talked about the athleticism in the open of Hellebuck. Right there, you see his quickness. I mean, he was across well before the shot was taken on a... Win another face-off. They've been great in that department to start the game. Rotated to Aya Father. Second unit on. Shot by Walker. Skips on the goal. He's played better since then. Walker across. Fielded by Aya Follow. Looking for Dano on the opposite side. Nicely done by Dano. Walker to Aya Follow. Save. Hell of a big rebound. Collected four shots on goal for the Kings on the power play. Look at that shot counter. Nine zip. When's Corpusalo going to see one? We have talked about that quite a bit lately. And Appleton through neutral ice. Mason Appleton all the way around the net. At the line, it's Brendan Dillon. Long range shot tipped to goal. Save Corpusalo. Longest goal scoring streak of his career. Goals in three in a row. Zach McEwen finishes off the hit in the corner on Sandberg. Puck to the front. Hellebuck. Out of his crease to deny Grundstrom. McEwen, pressure, support, but the Jets end up coughing it up themselves right here. The bouncing puck, can't find it. And look, Hellebuck, when he comes across, he does a real good job of staying tight, meaning there's very few holes. Roy to the near corner and Gavrikov. Things break out. Kempe over the red line. Fires in on goal, gloved by Hellebuck, and he'll hang on. Pionk tracks it down. Pionk for Ehlers down the wing. Back to the point. Pionk to Wheeler. He'll step up on a slap shot. Read by Corpusala. Big rebound. He read that one too. Wheeler picks up the puck. Ehlers spins away from Kopitar. Shot ricochets off Wheeler. Why? Then he tried to bank it off of Corpusalo. Wheeler had more room than he realized. Morrissey tees it up. Great save. Corpusalo with the left pad. You would have to elevate it. There's Morrissey. And then there's this another outstretch pad by Corpusalo, so more than doing the job. There's about he's doing it. Barron stopping, starting, oh. passing tight. Somehow that didn't go at the side of the net for Menelainen. Seven shots, the Kings won. Watch this behind the what? No, goes the short side and well, is the post. It's the side of the post. You can see there though the pad of Corpusalo is there. What? You, you mentioned it as the period wore on and Winnipeg started to get a foothold. We begin the second four on four for another 50 plus seconds. Kings maybe trying to get back on track here. Face off win to Kempe off the glove of Hellebuck and he's on his side to cover up. This is absolutely bang. I mean you get a chance to lean into it. Kempe can shoot it. And right here I think all Hellebuck's trying to do is get a piece and he does. He can't corral it with a glove but he gets enough. Deneau steps up through center. Philip Deneau over the line. Checked hard along the boards by Dillon. Boy, you picked up on it, Jim. From the beginning, Dillon has had a physical presence. Between the whistles and after. Deneau out in front. They score! I follow on the power play. And it's 2-0 LA. Here it is behind.
behind this. Peaky boo, peaky boo. Yep. Dylan could not block the cross pass. When he came across, he was aggressive. And in doing so, you're leaving. And a little bit of responsibility here belongs on Hellebuck. Dubois walks out for the goal line. Schmidt. Backpedaling along the blue line. Dubois lost it. Schmidt picked it up. Directed on goal by the skate of Morrissey. Corpus Salo is there. Picks it up. 45 seconds left on the power play. Connor comes to a halt. Looking for a target. Pionk up top. Pionk down for Connor. Connor moves in. Centers. Dubois scores. The Kings nearly got through four and a half on the major. But Winnipeg finally breaks through Pierre-Luc Dubois with his 25th of the season, and it's 2-1. It's a must for the Jets. They had to get it done. Dubois will able, be able to skate into it. Right, Scott, your screen. Watch this. He's able to receive and lean into it. So he's not stationary. He's getting everything into this one. The seam is not a big concern to me. I think anytime you make a pass like that, yeah, you're concerned about the seam. Perhaps Trevor Moore. Right now, the Kings, 20 minutes. The Jets, they've been working hard all game long to try to tie this thing up. The Jets, like, they were. They, they've improved their play since the start of this game. Kings win the faceoff. Doughty walks down the wall, snaps one, and scores! An insurance goal for the Kings from Drew Doughty, who picks up another one. That's the good thing. Kopitar wins the draw. Downey goes down the wall. Look at Hellebuck. You can tell by his reaction. He did not see the release because this comes from well outside the docks. Hellebuck in the net for now. You see more teams pull the goaltender before the attacking team gains the line. Just to try to get that extra skater on a little bit more rapidly. But now an empty net for Victor Arvidsson. Bullseye! But then, retrieval Dowdy around the boards. Anderson, no hesitation. I don't know if you can execute any better than that. That cannot help itself. Elation continues for a Kings team. As Byfield hits the iron. In this game. A win today and a win tomorrow. It'll be the best homestand by numbers in Kings history. Another one in the books.